everyone welcome back to my channel I am going to be preparing some salmon tonight and this is going to be loosely based on Alison Roman's most recent recipe with the New York Times Alison Roman has become my most recent favorite um, cook chef author and I do have her cookbooks I have yet to really peruse her cookbooks in depth but um, from what I have seen, I really like her approach and her methods. So this is not going to be the exact recipe, but I'm taking the idea and kind of putting my spin on it. And it has been kind of warm the last couple of days, so I want to make something that is easy and would make some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Um, so I think this is going to turn out pretty good. So I'm going to be using about a pound of salmon and um, the thin end I just kind of tucked it under so it would cook more evenly and I'm going to be making um, kind of like a, a green sauce or an herb sauce and that's going to consist of parsley, some chive, I am going to chop up a jalapeno, I'm going to add some garlic, a little bit of onion and then some lemon and on the side I have some rice that I'm cooking up and I am going to be blanching some asparagus and broccoli. Now for my asparagus and broccoli, I, I do want them actually cold. So I'm gonna blanch them, which basically means boil them for a couple of minutes until they're tender and then take them out and put them in ice water so that the cooking process stops. And I'm just prepping my asparagus right now. Um, this is going to be pretty simple and I'm not, you know, I mean, other than maybe a pinch of salt, I'm not going to do too much to them, but I do want to get this blanched and then set aside so it can chill. And then for my broccoli, I basically tried to make like long um, spears just to make them look a little bit more elegant. You can do it however you want, but I do kind of want like slender broccoli spears. And same thing, I'm just going to blanch them in hot water. So I basically want this to be a hot and cold dish where the vegetables are cold and then the fish will be warmer. Um, and then the rice will be probably hot because honestly, I'm making brown rice, so that takes longer. Um, but in the end, it should come together really nicely. Okay, so now for my uh, green sauce, salsa verde, however, you would like to call it. I have a good handful of parsley that I want to chop up. And I'm also gonna be using, I have quite a bit of chive and I do wanna use it all. So I have um, set my oven to start preheating at 325. And now I'm going to get ready on my green herb sauce. So I've already chopped up my parsley. I put in a good handful. And now I want to chop up a bunch of chives. Um, I suppose you can adjust to what you have in your kitchen or what you prefer more. Um, I believe in her original recipe, she uses shallot and I actually don't have shallot right now, so that's why I'm using a little bit of garlic and a little bit of a sweet onion. And then I'm going to finely dice one jalapeno. Um, you know, and sometimes jalapeno are spicy, sometimes they're not. If, if after I prepare this, there is no heat to it, I might actually use some red pepper flake, but you know, that'll be optional. Now with the onion, I might not use all of it. It's a small piece to begin with, but um, I want to finely dice this and incorporate it with my herbs and the jalapeno pepper. And I did taste the jalapeno and it's like a green bell pepper, so I'm going to be adding some of the chili flake. And then for my garlic, I want to get this into a paste. Now, if you have a garlic press, you can go ahead and use it, but I'm 
going to do this uh, on a cutting board with a bit of salt. And you can just kind of press it and chop it until it becomes pretty fine. I'm using a small-ish clove. Some of it is going to roast in the oven with the fish and some of it will be a dressing at the end. Now regarding my lemon, um, Alison Roman, she uses the whole thing and I don't want it to be as bitter. So I'm taking a vegetable peeler and I am going to be peeling the skin off of a lemon. And this I'm going to like cut into thin strips and then cut it across, kind of like a dice, a uh, fine mince. And then I'm going to cut the lemon, but getting rid of the, the white pith. Basically I've stacked up a few Um, you can just zest it also, but I actually want little pieces, so I'm doing it like this. Now with the actual lemon, I'm going to treat it how I might do like a grapefruit or an orange. Um, I basically want to take the ends off. One more like this one, and then I'm going to peel back the white pith. And I do want to seed this, so I'm going to um, cut it in half, kind of just remove the seeds if I see any. And I, I cut it off center first, but which can also help just eliminate the seed, and then you're left with the seeds in the core if there happens to be any. Um, so I'm just gonna do it like that actually. And that'll help me out. Now, of course, if there's like a little bit of the pith, don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. I, I just didn't want a whole lot. And now I'm going to be cutting or dicing my lemon into pieces and putting it in the bowl. And then to this, I'm going to add some salt, a good pinch of salt. Um, I am going to add some red pepper flake, not that much. I know some people might think that's a lot. And then some black pepper. Uh, this part to taste however much you want. And then I'm going to pour a healthy dose of olive oil. Remember, there is like a lemon in here so um, and then mix until well combined and I would definitely taste this after I've done that to adjust for any seasoning this turned out really good um, so now I'm going to I'm gonna actually salt my fish just a little bit and then I'm going to, I don't know, cover, cover it with the green sauce. And I'm going to put a pretty thick layer of it and there will still be enough to drizzle on after. And then this is going to go in the oven until the fish is done. Um, this is only about a pound. I don't think it'll take that long, uh, probably 20 minutes, and I'll check on it throughout. So I've gone ahead and arranged my cold vegetables on a plate, and I'm going to drizzle it with a bit of the um, green sauce, herb sauce, however, again, you would like to refer it to. So this is basically like a dressing, but a thicker dressing. Okay. 
If you need to add maybe a little bit more olive oil or if you'd like a little bit more acidity and add more lemon juice, you can. And then I'm just going to put the whole piece of fish on top. Now, okay, so this is a lot, um, but if you were gonna serve it on the table, I would definitely do it like this. Or if, you know, for sure this serves two people, I'm gonna say two to four, kinda depends what else you have going on. I do have some rice on the side, so this can definitely be for tonight and tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this meal, this recipe. I will have some notes in the description box on how I did it, as well as the link for the New York Times where you can find Alison Roman's version of the recipe. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye.